where we're talking about the enemies, what they're up to out to the east of here, where there are people enduring things. So there was a shooting today. <clears throat> you heard about it close to home, right? So who was shot? Who were two, two or the three victims were? Leftists. And they put out a statement. Did you read it? Romina Takibush by nine, whatever, looking the occupation in their eyes. They put out a statement declaring, okay, they said this, that two of our two of our guys were shot, two of our were shot by Muslimist terrorists, Islamofascists. And they're lucky they're alive, right? They didn't deserve to be alive. Apparently they have some sort of, well, I feel they didn't deserve to be alive, but God decided they have some zechus that saved them, right? So yeah, I guess they do deserve. So they put out a statement declaring that they refuse to take heed and repent. They said, this teaches us nothing, and we'll double down on our foolish and suicidal treason. That's what they said. They said, still, the problem is the settler violence, because those settlers are always, you know, random acts of violence against Arabs, right? Don't you know settlers pick up Kalashnikovs and shoot at Arab buses with children, right? When, was, when has that ever happened, ever? Never, right? Right? The real violence is the settlers, even when our own activists get shot randomly by the people we're trying to protect. That's a problem. That's a real, real problem. They they are the problem. And by the way, it was just a month ago. One of their one of their own was also what carjacked. They threw her into traffic. They threw her out of her car into traffic at the traffic circle, and you know left her to die. She was in her seventies, and they still didn't repent after that one. So how many how many leftists have been you know just got just survived, nearly being killed this month by the organization by the people they're trying to help. Can't be a leftist now unless mentally, you mentally mentally ill. God, yeah. That's the reason for being to destroy any yeah. God. It, 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 I don't think they they hate God. They don't know about God. They hate they hate their own their own their own uh, countrymen. They hate other Jews. But why? No reason to except that they're working after the God. To a, to at least to an idea of a God. No, uh, well, I I I I don't think they have such sophisticated theology. Yeah. Well, okay, it sounds sophisticated to me. I think it's just they're just they're, they're sick. So um, yeah, it, it's it's terrible. By the way, now you're reminded, like I keep saying, this is the way things were before the Holocaust. You should know, Jew hatred was okay in polite company, just like around the world. And there were many Jews who were willing to go along with whatever was going on. Too many Jews, too many everybody. And Chas Shalom, I hope this doesn't go as far as the Holocaust did. Although we know that there was a Holocaust day. They're trying it. They're certainly ramping up the rhetoric, and then after it's all done, they'll they'll have a uh, you know a few decades of public repentance, like the world was after the Holocaust. The Holocaust couldn't have couldn't have happened if not for the world powers that were fighting against Nazi Germany, allowing them to do so, right? And also many Jews who are sort of allowing it to happen. Uh, Paris made a confession about that you know, shortly before his death. Well, yeah. There are the too many Jewish. You understand how Jewish collaborators work. There were many Jews in Poland who were Judenrat types till the very end, you know, and then they were killed. Well, some of them managed to escape, but you know that, that's that's the thing. So basically, these kibush Bainayim people who have no eyes, basically they they are the Judenrat of today, the the collaborators, and uh, they say publicly, which is just in, incredible, you know.